Mmm. Gotta start the morning off right with a fresh cup of coffee. Java for my blood. Nothing like a good cup of coffee to start the day. It's time to turn that frown upside down. Happy Cup. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Lobster Bob here. Uh, we're going to get things done right today, okay? I hope you had a great sleep. So now it's time to make some bacon in the cast iron skillet. I'm uh, sipping down on my java. Then we're going to make some homemade waffles, top with a little bit of blueberries and strawberries, have a little bit of a fried egg on the side, right? Sound good? Maybe a little buttered toast, if I can stomach it. Yeah, enjoy. Ah, beautiful day. Let's start by preheating the cast iron skillet. Yeah. Now I know you're all excited about the cast iron skillet, and you should be. Which is why, since it's my second time using the cast iron skillet, I bought some tasty bacon. Real bacon. Oh. Lower that down to medium to low heat. Have I mentioned to you how much I love bacon? I love it. I can smell it, and it's so pungent. You know, I'm pretty sure the neighbors can smell it, and they hate me because they can't have it. It's all mine. And Oyster Anna can have some too. She's good. That's sizzling real nice. Yep, I'm making a whole pound of bacon. A whole damn pound, and I'm gonna eat the whole damn thing myself. Oh, we're getting there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Delicious. All right, the next part, now that our bacon is finished, is to make our waffle batter from scratch. It's not that hard. I'm gonna use three cups of all-purpose flour. Then, I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. You're gonna to wanna to mix all your dry ingredients together first. So let's do, you know, a pinch of salt. Then, three teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, three. Three teaspoons of baking powder. And for this mixture, do about four tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three, four. Just to blend that really nicely. These are our dry ingredients. Blend those nicely. All right, those look pretty blended. Then you want to combine your liquid ingredients, which is your eggs and your milk. You want to whisk the eggs and the milk together in a little bowl, and then slowly pour it in here to create your batter. Let's do four eggs. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Then add three cups of milk to that.
which is probably not going to all fit in here, which is fine. So just put in what you can, put it together, mix it up nice, blend it. So I put a cup and a half in here to mix with the eggs and the other cup and a half I'm going to pour right into the batter once I start it going. Gently we're going to pour our egg mixture right in there. Once you get that going, add the remaining cup and a half of milk. Oh, that's starting to look like batter right there. Yeah, that's the consistency you're looking for. Just keep going until all the clumps are out, you know, so it's nice and smooth. And the final step would be to melt some butter and throw it in. All right, I'm going to get about five to six tablespoons of butter right here and I'm going to melt it in the microwave in this bowl. I don't exactly know how long it's going to take to melt this, but keep an eye on it the whole time, put it in there for a minute, and then watch it until it melts. Simple as that. Okay, so it actually only took 30 seconds to melt all that butter, which is pretty awesome. We're going to pour that butter mixture right into our batter and just make sure it whisks and blends perfectly. Once it's all blended, you can throw it in your waffle maker. Okay, it doesn't take long for my waffle maker to preheat. It's an electric waffle maker, so all I gotta do is plug it in, and the light came on. So, once that light turns green, we can pour our batter in, wait a couple minutes, and then we got waffles. Okay, the light went off. That means it's done preheating. So we're gonna open that up. I'm still gonna spray a little bit of pan. Oh, it's creamy. It's delicious. It's probably gonna overflow, but I don't care. Because it's delicious. We're just gonna pour that batter. Until it spreads over top. It's going to rise. And you're just going to make sure all of that is completely spread out. Once that's done, close your lid. Now, you're going to see it leak out the sides because I suck at this, but it doesn't matter because it's going to still turn out to be a big, succulent, crispy waffle. And you'll see, you'll see! As you see, the waffle iron is starting to steam. Um, when this light either turns green or turns off, I forget, um, that means your waffle's done. But you're going to want to open it and check it. If you want an extra crispy, just close it for another couple minutes and it'll be nice and crispy. Alright, we're going to take a look at this and see how it did. Mmm, it looks delightful. Um, I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. As you can see, I need to add a little bit more batter, but for a first waffle, a test waffle, it's going to taste quite delicious. So, we're going to let that go and get a little more crispier on top. And then we're going to do a few more. It looks like that that's what they're gonna look like and I'm okay with that I just hope they taste good well I heated up some blueberries and some strawberries in a little dish and those were the topper along with some butter and some syrup and got bacon on the side and this was the homemade waffle with bacon experience enjoy <laughs>